Hello and welcome to another tutorial with uh, with Preacher. Uh, we are looking at dilapidation today. Uh, I want to take you through a couple of stages of dilapidation that I've uh, I've seen uh, in in my Minecraft builds that I've worked with. Uh, I want to just kind of share a little bit. I did do a little bit of searching on YouTube and I didn't find very much, so I thought maybe I'd make a video and see with uh, see if we can get some views. Um, Again, if you if you want to see more dilapidation, we're going we we're going to be we are going to be exploring a dilapidation using the stone brick and stone brick variant and different stuff like that. Um, if you want to see more dilapidation videos, possibly with like terracottas and different wood types and different stuff like that, then uh, then uh, put a comment down below and uh, let me know what block palette you'd like to see dilapidated. Uh, if I can, I will. If not. I apologize, <laughs> and I'll, but I'll be sure, sure to respond to you. All right, so for this build, I did build, I built up a nice little castle for us, a nice, uh, something for us to look at, with a little bit of texture, a little bit of design. Uh, of course, we don't see a whole lot of dilapidation. Now, um, my builds tend to be pretty simple, especially when it comes to uh, uh, brand new type builds. Okay, a lot of my detail comes in when I begin to add dilapidation. Uh, that's where my detail comes in. I, I don't really do a good job of add, uh, slabbing slabbing my bills. I think that's what people call it, slabbing my bills. I don't do a real good job of that. Uh, adding to slabs here, there, and everywhere to make to add different texture and depth and all that stuff. Uh, so, but my texture does come in whenever I start doing dilapidation. For that reason, let's take a look at this build. All right, so in this build, uh, of course, it's brand new. We have a nice manicured uh, lawn, and we have uh, some banners, different stuff like that there that we have hung. We have some flower pots, planters, different stuff like that. Now, when we, you begin to dilapidate your build, uh, a lot of times we need to consider uh, how things work, how things grow. Uh, that'll add a lot of life to it. If you just come in here and, and do a random placement, so say you came in here and just randomly placed moss block, uh, that wasn't wouldn't necessarily be uh, that, that's not going to give you much thought into your build. A lot of times when moss grows, like let's say the sun comes up over here, uh, a lot of times when moss grows, moss tends to grow up in the shadows, and so you want to build you want to come through and place your blocks in. Uh, in a way that it makes more sense and so you would have a lot more moss down here at the bottom but you would have a lot less moss up here at the top so let's move on to the next build style this this right here is our brand new uh, stage one brand new okay and so our next stage we're going to look at I labeled this right here exposed and so this right here is going to be exposed to the elements and so, like our banners, our banners are going to become tarnished. You know, you get a little bit of dirt in, in your in your banner and different stuff like that. Uh, your your build begins to be set into the environment. Uh, you begin to see moss creeping up the sides of your building. You'll notice that uh, on my, uh, the way I laid my moss, I laid a lot of here at the bottom, and then as it goes up, it just, it slowly tapers off to nothing. And it also, uh, moss is not a vine, but moss it, it it populates by spores and so a spore is not just going to leave here and place itself way up here you know it's more likely that the spore is going to place itself right next to itself uh right next to where it came from and so the apple doesn't far fall far from the tree so then you also begin to see bushes growing up some some plant intrusion and um now in this, I don't think that there'd be anything wrong with when you come in here. You can also add some 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 of the cracked variant. Now, if I came in here with a cracked variant, I would most likely start up here at the top. And so because the sun, the rain, all that right there is going to be hitting up here at the top. And you're going to see a lot more of the weathering effect uh, from the top coming down. So especially like these things right here, if you, I wish we had a cracked variant, but you can maybe use some andesite uh, to, uh, for that little wall right there. And that would also add some different texture and stuff like that. So, um, But as far as, uh, and this is where a lot of people, this is where they stay. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with this. Um, this is, it's, it's, you know, beginning to uh, be transformed, be, be, you know, to have a nice look to it. And so as you're, 
your vines will also grow up uh, over time. So before we leave this build, uh, I want to I also want to point out that uh, that our paths uh, our paths are beginning to uh, be dilapidated as well. So you see this path coming down through here. It's a nice manicured path. Uh, and then you come over here and we begin to see a breakup of that path. You know, that path isn't as, as pristine before as before. And so, but moving on to this, this build, uh, this dilapidation. So we have here, we begin to see a lot more plant intrusion. We begin to see... Uh, also, a lot more dilapidation coming down from the top. We begin to see missing blocks. So things become missing. A lot of the decorative items, the things that are just kind of barely hung on there, you're going to start seeing a lot less of that type of stuff. And so uh, over here we see this whole entire planter box has been torn off. The little flower is gone. Uh, a lot of the lamps and lanterns, they're been, they've been knocked off. Um, colors have been begun to change like in your woods and different stuff like that this uh this is what the banner used to look like it may not the, the banners may not all change but you know most of them should so uh you begin to see this is sun bleached at the top with just a little bit of the orange and brown color at the bottom and so you begin to see a lot more uh dilapidation our our gate here is is uh is showing different colored sh signs of wear also your blocks as you know a lot of people will come in here and they will just you know they'll they'll use the same block palette and they'll just randomize it and or they'll take it they'll start at the bottom and they'll do a gradient up you know that, that's real popular right now to do a gradient up but dilapidation doesn't happen like that it does gradient but it doesn't gradient just necessarily from the top to the bottom you know you may have a bad spot poke out right here in the side and and that b bad spot will then begin to spread and so it'll be a gradient from one spot in your wall and it'll gradient out in like a, a circle type area um, you can see that up here actually this right here is i thought was a really good example of the gradient you can see here we go from from our normal stone this is what our, our wall used to look like then you have the crack stone uh, then you have this right here is going to be uh, a lot of this right here is going to be the severely exposed aggregate within the within the stone bricks then you have a moderate exposed aggregate and then down to where the just the textures are removed and then after your texture is removed uh, you're going back to your normal uh, brick so it would gradient from from this would be in your worst uh, dilapidation down to uh, this right here be your normal stone wall, stone wall also you can come in here and instead of having you know a full stone brick there you can also have stairs you can put stairs in uh, I like to use stairs to add holes in walls so like you can have a hole in the wall right here from from the here, I, don't, I don't like that. I like it up there like that. Okay, now, now you can have see how your your wall is surrounded uh, by this by this hole. This hole is surrounded by the by the severely exposed aggregate, and so uh, also no bad guys can get through there. So uh, you're you're adding holes, but your hole your wall is still secure, and so. Um, I like doing that in my build. Now, a lot of, you know, you can come in here in different areas and just, you can, you can add a wall that way or, or this way, or I see, I don't, I knocked out my grass. Um, I don't like that that wood's exposed. There we go. All right. So now you have uh, a hole in your, in your, in your wall, but it's not a hole. Okay. So you're beginning to add texture here. You might say, uh, let's, let's do, let's go over here real fast. Let me find right there here since there's no moss right here you might say okay well i want to add you know that so that's going to be a hole in my wall or you might actually i like to make them look like this so that looks really good to me when you put the two uh stairs up and down and it adds kind of a whole block but it's not a whole block it's a half a block <laughs> and so anyhow um but yeah, I, you know, when you come in, of course, you know, we go back to the pathway. The path is more dilapidated. Uh, the plants have begun to grow inside of your build. And so uh, a lot of these plants now, as you as you move from one stage to the next, 
uh, you know, like this plant right here, it may be inside of this right here, but it doesn't necessarily mean that this plant is going to be the one that grows all the way up. It may grow up a little bit and decide, well, I don't get I don't have enough light and I'm going to die. You know, uh, this tree over here, it might make it, you know, but it may not grow very well because it's not rooted very well because of the the stone that's beside it. And this tree right here may grow up a lot bigger than that tree. You know, so um, as you begin to dilapidate more. Think about where your, you know, wh what's your environment? Where's your weather going to be coming from? Where's the, where's the energy going to be coming from? Is the sun going to be coming straight down from above? Is, is there going to be a tree right here with shadows cast on the side of the building, adding to the moisture and the, uh, and the rot and different stuff like that inside of your build? Um, so anyhow, this right here, this is one of my favorite stages of the, of the dilapidation, but this next stage has got to be one of my fa my favorite stage. This stage right here is is dilapidated. Uh, I labeled it as dilapidated. Um, now we have dilapidated, but we also have dilapidated with repair. Okay, and so um, you know if this is your let's say this is your base. This is your this is where you want to live. You know you might have some areas that are extremely dilapidated, but then there might be other areas within your build, say inside, where you want to have. This is where you want to live. This is where you want to uh, have your base. You know you want to have your bed. This is going to be your bedroom. Well, you might want to wall off. You don't want you don't want to just be open to the environment. So you might wall off uh, just using some supplies around your base. Uh, and but you don't want to repair it with brand new bricks. I mean, this is your build. This is uh, you want it to look dilapidated, like you repaired it with like some logs and sticks and stuff from from your environment around. So you might begin to wall off and repair that way. Also, you see in this dilapidation, we used a lot of stairs, a lot of different stair blocks, and and also we we added a lot of texture into the ground. Now in this uh, in all of your builds, let's go back. I want to go back over to this other build and I want to show you something. I didn't do this. Um, in this build over here, you might see like this block was there. Well, that block fell off. So where is that block? If that block fell off, where did that block go? You know, you might want to come in here and place that block down right there. Okay. That way where that, when that block fell off, it fell off. It has a place over here. We have this huge piece of the of the castle that fell off. Well, it needs a place. It didn't just disappear. Just because it fell, it, it, it collapsed doesn't mean it disappeared. It fell somewhere. So you can be, begin to add piles of rubble around your build. And so the then also plant intrusion. One of the things that I've noticed in a lot of these uh, in a lot of these builds and a lot of the dilapidated builds is they do not play off of plant intrusion. They may go through and they may add some ruin, they call it ruining, but they don't add to the plant intrusion. Plants will find a way into everything. If you've ever mowed your own lawn and you have a concrete driveway, you know that plants will find their way into your concrete driveway. Okay, so here we have a tree that has found its way and grown up inside of this side of the tower and so and it's poking its way out and and in this area when a tr when a tree or something like that that does that it will begin to push the the the, the structure out away from itself and so uh, plant intr the intrusiveness of plants now we come inside if you come inside a lot of your base is still going to be the same because it's not going to be exposed so uh, from the inside, a lot of your base needs to look uh, uh, very similar to where, the way you started. Also, your blocks. Your blocks will, uh, as far as your block choices, again, we talked about it. From the middle of your dilapidation, this stuff begins to work its way out. Now, in this stage, uh, you might have a lot less uh, of the original block that that you started with and a lot more of uh, the block variants and different stuff like that and uh, so and this is not a perfect example um, I was just sitting here looking this wall has almost no dilapidation this up here looks pristine beautiful uh, and so this is not a perfect example you know, let me fix that there all right now <laughs> that looks a lot better uh, that did not look very well here let's let's just take that out all right that looks a lot better all right so 
Um, anyhow, yeah. So this right here would be, uh, this is a place where I like to be. I like to see the, the intrusiveness of the plants. I like to see that, that holes have, have begun to develop. And again, you need to play with your environment. So like if you live right next to the ocean and a lot of places, a lot of times we live next to the ocean in Minecraft, um, you know, the the winds coming off the ocean might cause more dilapidation in on the front side rather versus the back side um maybe you live ne on a mountain or something like that and and so your exposure you consider where your exposure comes from as you begin your build also when you begin to plant and and add vegetation around think that you're think about how plants are intrusive in builds you know, they don't just grow out here in, in the lawn and leave the building alone. They, plants are trying to take over your building. And so they are very intrusive. So colors are going to change. Uh, you see our banner up here. Our banner has, uh, has completely been tarnished. We have uh, the white up here is no longer sun bleached. It's now uh, completely tarnished. A lot of the, de the decorative blocks have completely fallen off. The only two banners we have left is this one back here and this one up here in the front. And so um, they are no longer at all pristine. Can you imagine if I had a, a, a bright orange banner hanging up here? That wouldn't look right at all, would it? And so uh, not in this stage of dilapidation. And so, um, but I believe that's, that's pretty much captured everything that we have in this uh, block. Um, again, your repairs, make sure that your repairs are, um, you don't have to do repairs. If you do repairs, make sure, you know, if that's, that would be something that you would come back and do later. And they don't have to look old. It can look, you can look like a brand new repair. You know, maybe you're living up inside of that. So let's move on to the last stage of the lapidation. This is what I call ruins. Okay. Um, this is when I think of like some ruins, you, I'm walking through the jungle and I find some ruins. This is what I think about. And so it doesn't necessarily have to be this. John, know, I actually built this tree. I didn't plant it. It wouldn't grow <laughs> within this within this block. So I actually just built the tree based off of what this tree right here, how this tree right here grew. Uh, I thought it was pretty neat. Um, so inside of here, we saw that tree over there in our last uh, example. Uh, this tree has completely grown up and knocked down this tower. Uh, the center of this tower, the archway, has completely fallen. Uh, you notice a lot less vines. Um, there's not a whole lot to this. This is just kind of... You know, like, you know, if you were going to build this right here in, in some sort of map uh, or something like that, that that you're making for other players, you might want to make a uh, a completely dilapidated build. Um, you know, as they're, as you're they're walking through the woods, uh, maybe an old castle had been destroyed and, and, you know, a long time ago. But you notice your trees. I love the new azalea trees. How did they grow out in different directions? Believe it or not, this these trees, this tree right here is just simply four azalea trees planted side by side. And it grows out into these these beautiful little oblong patterns. Okay, so and this tree back here, um, this right here is actually planted in a plus pattern. So I have a, uh, I had just five trees right here in, in kind of a plus pattern and I, so i love how these trees uh, grow out I, I love how the azalea trees uh one of the things that i i like to do when i when i do these in in on other maps is i actually raise these things up about five or six blocks or three or four blocks and, and then plant them and then fill it take out the blocks underneath and fill them in with some uh with some roots and different stuff like that to make them give them a bigger trunk as uh instead of them being so short and so uh, then this right here is just a basic, uh, um, I just planted this uh, giant uh, spruce tree. I, I did come through and take out the, the pods oil that, that you would find underneath. And you, might ha you may want to integrate a bunch of pods oil into this build. This right, that would be something that you could do and it would probably look really good inside of this build. And so I hope you enjoyed this uh, this video on dilapidation. Again, if you want to see more, if you want to see different block palettes and different stuff like that being dilapidated, different stages of dilapidation, uh, let me know down in the comments. If you like the video, if you want to see more, please consider subscribing. I do have a uh, a series that I've I've started out. I've 
I'm doing one hour Minecraft one hour at a time. I'm trying to um, make our way through the snapshots and everything. Hopefully we can keep this world that we're in uh, all the way through the snapshots. But again, if you liked the video, please consider subscribing, uh, ring the notification bell, all that good stuff. If I don't see you again, I hope to see you in heaven.